Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay ko po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasama. Good morning, Grade 8 learners! How are you today? I hope you're doing great. Welcome to another day of virtual learning here on Valenzuela Live. I'm Miss Kimberly Torres, your TLE teacher for today. Join me as I guide you through learning the use of tools and instruments in mechanical drafting. But before we start, here are some gentle reminders that you need to observe every learning engagement. Number one, prepare your pen and paper so you can write important information from our discussion today. Number two, avoid unnecessary comment. Do not comment speakers or emojis which are not related to your activity. Number three, be polite. Avoid using unpleasant words. And if you want to ask questions, then be kind in expressing your thoughts. Number four, be attentive. Your active participation through your reactions and comments in every task will be highly appreciated. Number five, practice punctuality. Attend your online learning engagement on time and support Valenzuela Live. For today, we will be using the learning material prepared by Ms. Cristel S. Sevilla, teacher from Mapulandupa National High School. So learners, are you ready to learn? If yes, kindly hit the heart reaction at the bottom of your screen. Thank you, learners! Today, you're going to learn how to prepare drafting tools, materials, and drawing instruments. And we will focus on this most essential learning competency. Select and use measuring instrument. Learning outcome, identify the use of measuring instrument. 2.1, measuring instruments are identified correctly. 2.2, use measuring instruments as its utilization. The learners are expected to identify the different measuring instruments selected and use them according to the level of accuracy required. Number two, demonstrate the accurate measurements of each tool to the finest gradation of the selected measuring instrument. Number three, Appreciate the importance of measuring techniques used. Now, let's find out how much you remember from your previous discussion about the drafting materials and tools or drawing instrument. Let's play a game. I'm going to show you a picture of drafting tools, then your task is to identify the name of the given tool. Just comment your answer below. Let's start. Here's the first picture. If your answer is triangle, then you are correct. The second picture. If your answer is protractor, excellent. The third picture. Is your answer eraser? Very good. Fourth picture.
If your answer is pencil, great! Fifth picture. Is your answer drawing paper? Amazing! Good job, learners! Drafting tools may be used for measurement and layout of drawings or to improve the consistency and speed of creation of standard drawing elements. Tools such as pens and pencil mark the drawing medium. Other tools such as straight edges assist the operator in drawing straight lines. It seems that you fully understand your previous lesson. Before we proceed to our discussion, let's see what you already know about this lesson by answering the following. Let's start! Directions. Read each statement carefully and comment the letter of the correct answer below. Number 1. Which of the following is used to measure dimensions? Is it A. Cutting tools B. Measuring tools C. Lining tools or letter D. Testing tools The correct answer is letter B. Measuring tools Number 2. Which of the following is used as a guide in drawing horizontal lines? Is it A. Ruler B. Scale C. Triangle or letter D. T-square The correct answer is letter D. T-square Number 3. What is this instrument that helps a drafter keep the proportions accurate? Is it A. Ruler B. Scale C. Triangle D. T-square The correct answer is letter B, scale. Number 4. Which instrument is used in dividing distances into several equal parts by the trial and error method? A. Compass B. Divider C. Protractor or letter D. Tape ruler The correct answer is letter B, divider. Number 5. It is a concave, spring steel blade ranging from quarter to one inch wide and six to about 300 feet in length. Is it A, meter stick? B, ruler? C, tape ruler? Or letter D, triangle? The correct answer is letter C, tape ruler. You've done a great job, learners. Let's begin. Drafting is the process of representing an object or idea using lines having various thicknesses and makeups. Technical drawings, graphic images, and sketches can be created using a variety of instruments ranging from traditional tools such as pencils, compasses, rulers, and a variety of triangles as well as by computer. Here are different measuring instruments that we use in mechanical drafting. T-square. It is a technical drawing instrument used by draftsmen primarily as a guide for drawing horizontal lines on a drafting table. Here is the picture of a T-square. Triangles are used for drawing vertical and oblique lines. The most commonly used triangles are the 45 degrees and the 30 by 60 degrees. This is an example of triangles. Ruler. 
is the most popular type of measuring tools. It is usually 6 or 12 inches in length. It is needed for measuring sizes and distances. The picture shows a ruler, a triangular scale is a ruler that has three lobe cross section with six different types of scale on the edges used for measuring and preparing scale drawings such as blueprints and maps it is also called as an architect scale its main purpose of a triangular scale protractor it is used for measuring and setting of angles other than those obtainable with the triangles. It is typically in the form of a flat semicircle mark with degrees along the curved edges. Here's a picture of a protractor. Compass. It is used to draw circles, arcs, and radii and parts of many symbols they can also be used as tools to measure distances in particular on maps here's a picture of a compass divider it is a similar to the compass in construction as the name implies the divider is used for dividing distances into several equal parts by the trial and error method. Here's the picture of a divider. So class, don't get confused. Technically, a compass is a drafting instrument that has one pen or pencil at one leg and one sharp point on the other leg that is positioned at the center of the circle to be described while the divider on the other hand has two sharp points one for the center and the other for scribing or marking tape ruler is a concave spring steel blade ranging from quarter to one inch wide and 6 to about 300 feet in length, coiled inside a carrying case. It provides an easy means for accurately measuring curved surfaces for its flexible roll or thin steel that retracts into a protective case. Here's the picture of a tape ruler. Drawing tools are used to make accurate and legible drawings and models. Measuring is not only checking the length, width, or thicknesses of an object, but also checking the shape things like the flatness, straightness, roundness, or squareness. All measuring tools are precision tools. You must take good care of them. To keep them in good shape to maintain its accuracy. Measuring tools are essential for examining a finished product or semi-finished product. The inspection or examination operations include checking or testing an object based on the required dimensions given on a diagram or a sketch measurements taken must be accurate just to make sure you learned well in our discussion we will play another game the title of this game is what am i directions determine what is being described in each number you will be given five seconds to comment your answer below Number one, I am made of plastic or wood. I am a guide in drawing horizontal lines. I can measure up to 48 inch straight line. What am I?
The answer, T square. Number two, I am made of plastic. I am a semicircular instrument divided into 180 equal parts. I can measure arcs, angles, and circles. What am I? The answer, protractor. Number three, I am made of spring steel blade. My shape is concave. I am coiled inside a carrying case. What am I? The correct answer, tape ruler. Number four, I can be used in general drawing. I can reproduce the dimension in full size. I help a drafter keep the proportions accurate. What am I? The correct answer, triangular scale. Number five, I am made of plastic and metal. I can draw circles, arcs, and radii, and parts of many symbols. I am usually mistaken as a divider. What am I? The answer, compass. Well done, grade 8 learners. You did a very good job. Now we will proceed in our enhancement activity. Directions. Comment true if the statement is correct and false if it is wrong. I will give you three minutes to answer.
Let's check your answers. Number one, false. Number two, true. Number three, true. Number four, true. And number five, true. You've done a marvelous job, grade 8 learners. For other questions or queries, your teacher will surely answer them in your respective follow-up discussion. And that ends our learning journey for today. I hope you learned a lot and thank you for joining me. Remember, ano man ang sitwasyon, tuloy ang edukasyon. Thank you, learners. I would like to thank the following. Ma'am Remedio Santos, Ma'am Clarissa Daco, Sir Hector de Dios, Sir Renan Rodriguez, Sir Jeffrey Antiado, Ma'am Michelle Valdez, and Ma'am Donna Torres. This has been Ma'am Kim. And see you again to our next learning journey in Valenzuela Live TLE 8.